The 92 FS, everybody knows about it. We're going to take a look at the 92 FS Compact. Beretta was founded in 1526, making it the world's oldest firearm manufacturer. And during that time, they have produced so many good, high-quality pistols and rifles and shotguns. In fact, their shotguns are world-renowned. Uh, but mainly here in the U.S., we see mainly the pistols. That's what's really the most popular. And the most popular out of that is the Model 92 FS, which is a military sidearm adopted by the U.S. military. Uh, and, of course, it replaced the 1911 and 1985. Uh, one of the great things about the Beretta is is that it's been a proven design. It went through all the military tests. Uh, initially, there were some problems with some of the slides cracking because of a heat treating process, but all that's been remedied. And this gun has served uh, for a long time with the military. Um, and it is a very popular firearm. It's not the smallest, it's not the lightest, but it's definitely one of those that's very reliable. We're going to go ahead and safety check the pistol. The magazine is empty and the gun is unloaded. Now one of the big things, and when I pull the slide back, you'll notice this open barrel system. And it's a very unique system really to modern day firearms. Uh, most of them have a uh, the slide that covers the barrel. And one of the great things, and this is a specific design for this pistol because it really keeps debris clear. Uh, if you get any debris in here, it's just going to clear it out. But what it also does, it makes this very reliable. Uh, but a lot of that has to do because this barrel does not tilt. It is a locking block system. Uh, inspired by the original Walther P38 and uh, the locking block there. In fact, they're very similar. And we'll look at that when we break the pistol down a little bit more. Uh, but one of the things about this pistol is it is a hammer-fired pistol. And we're going to go ahead and drop the hammer. Uh, it is a double single-action pistol. And that means that when you pull the trigger, you actuate the hammer. And as you can see, it's coming back. Now, it's a pretty heavy trigger pull uh, and then after it comes back and you fire that first round it remains in the rear position and uh, that means it's really easy and very smooth in fact the trigger pull on the Berettas are really exceptional uh, again the double action is heavy but it's smooth there <laughs> there is nothing that goes on when you start pulling that trigger except for the weight uh, of the trigger. There's no clicking or resistance. It's, it's just very consistent. Uh, with the hammer in the rear position, uh, as you can see, there's some take up right here and then a very crisp snap with very little over travel. Uh, reset right here, very nice. So it's a really exceptional shooting pistol. In fact, they're very accurate because of the locking block system. Now it does have the slide safety right here and it's a safety and decocker. Uh, go ahead and bring the safety down and it brings your hammer down. Now one of the things that I had to get used to and I will go ahead and tell you ahead of time uh, is that you need to make sure that you remember uh, to bring that safety up when you're, um, when you're bringing it out to deploy it. Because if you don't bring the safety up, there's nothing there. And this does not have a magazine disconnect, which I really am fond of. I hate magazine disconnects, so this is really good. Uh, so you need to make sure you go ahead and hit that safety up. Now, Wilson makes what they call their G model safety, uh, which will replace this. And it, as soon as you pop it up uh, to or bring it down to put it on safe, it pops right back up, which I like. So it's a decocker only. 
that way it's very consistent you know that you know if you pull the trigger the hammer's not going to fire plus this safety can be inadvertently knocked off or knocked on uh, which really hasn't happened that much but it is something that a lot of people uh, don't really like and that's including me of course the safety is ambidextrous for either side and then also you can take the magazine catch and switch it to the other side in fact i've got a video demonstrating how to switch the, the uh, magazine release now one of the things about the new compact is that it has a uh, Picatinny rail system here and it's really nice and full. In fact, the Picatinny rail comes out really close as you can see to the end of the barrel. Uh, the overall length of the compact is three quarter inches shorter than your full size nine and it's 2.3 ounces lighter. And of course, we're talking about it, we might as well go ahead and bring out the, the old 92. Now this is a 92F, uh, it's a little bit older and of course it doesn't have the accessory rail. Um, and we will double check to make sure the gun is unloaded. No magazine and the uh, chamber is empty. We're going to go ahead and bring it down. Now to give you an idea of a size comparison, you can see here it is shorter on the frame and it is somewhat shorter on the barrel and the slide, but not a huge amount. But it does make a big difference when you're concealed carrying. Um, you know, that's one of the things and one of the complaints about the Beretta 92 Compact is that it's not really that compact, uh, but it is smaller than the 92. And if you really enjoy uh, shooting the 92 and you really like carrying it, I think you're going to really enjoy carrying the 92 Compact. Uh, but now compared to, and we're going to go ahead and bring out the Glock and we'll double check it as well. Um, you can see that it is considerably bigger if you go all the way back here to the beaver tail. In this direction and the grip it's not really that much difference uh, one of the big differences though as far as the grip goes is that the compact Beretta only carries 13 rounds while the Glock 19 carries 15 rounds so you're losing a couple of rounds a little extra weight a little larger but again if you are really an aficionado for the Beretta this makes an excellent concealed carry uh, for that option. Now the compact does come in this black finish which is a, a Brunetton finish. Uh, it is a, an enamel actually finish and it's really impervious to harsh conditions, uh, sweat, corrosion, things like that. Uh, the slide is steel, the barrel steel, but the frame itself is an aluminum alloy. Again, it's been very proven. Uh, the, the weight on this pistol is 31.6 ounces. So again, it still weighs a couple of ounces less than the full size, but it is still a full weight pistol. I mean, it's still pretty hefty. The magwell has been beveled to allow for magazines to go in and out very easily. And uh, that's always a nice feature because you want to be able to get those magazines. Plus, the Beretta magazines are tapered anyway, so that actually aids also. The front strap has really exceptional checkering way above the original 92Fs and the rear has really good checkering. To give you an idea, here are just the straight serrations on the original and here. So this really adds a lot to this pistol. Mag catch right here, very easy to get to, very positive, and yet it's somewhat recessed to keep you from inadvertently hitting it. One of the things I love about this design is how easy it is to get your thumb on the slide release or the slide stop. Just, you don't even have to adjust your grip at all. I mean, it just locks back. And again, the smoothness, very easy also to actuate to hold the slide in the rear position. Now the controls on these are very good. Uh, of course, these not really squared off, but kind of angled trigger guard, and this allows for gloved hands. Really easy to be able to get a full finger in there. The serrations on the slide are very easy to grab hold of. With the open slide design, I was expecting uh, zero malfunctions, which I got, and I used a number of different type ammos in here. Uh, the hot shot definitely you know just very inexpensive great shooting stuff um, and then i was shooting hpr jacketed hollow points they were feeding them just excellently of course we have our three dot sights and the rear is dovetailed the front is machined into the front so the sights are pretty much what you have uh, you know you're not really going to be able to change these out without taking it to a competent gunsmith and having him uh, put sights on this But to be honest with you, they're very nice, they're bright, they are steel, and this can be used as a one-handed reload right here with this shelf. Now, not only does it have the 13 rounds, you can also get the 10-round option. When I ordered this one, it did come 
with the 10 rounder. I didn't really mean for it to, I really wanted the 13 rounder. But it, you can take your standard Beretta 92 bags and it will function in fire uh, with the Beretta 92s. And one of the great things about Beretta, uh, this, the 92 models, is because they you can get the surplus mags, I typically at gun shows pick these up for between 10 and sometimes even $8 a piece. It does have a lanyard loop here at the bottom. The grips are a polymer plastic. It has checkering, but it's not too rough. And of course, with the nice Beretta logo right here, uh, there are aftermarket grips that you can put on these. Uh, with the grip itself, it comes up into a nice little beaver tail to give you just a really good feel. Uh, it is a double stack feel. I mean, it is a fairly large grip but it, there's something about it that's just very comfortable and with this little lip on the magazine it really gives you just the right feel to it this is the m9a1 design uh, which is the new beretta 92 in fact the marine corps has adopted the m9 for their service arm with the light rail so that does differentiate it from a lot of the early uh, 92s it's seven and three quarter inches in length it's five and a quarter inches in height the width is 1.5 inches. The heft of the pistol definitely helps with felt recoil, uh, which leads to accuracy, and then again with the barrel lockup system. But what's really cool is the slickness of this slide. I mean, it just it slides so easy. Uh, in fact, those with weak hands are more out to be able to pull the slide back on this than a lot of other guns. Uh, not super, super, uh, it's just smooth. I mean, that's just all there is to it. Uh, just like its big brother, and. Um, it just handled well at the range. Disassembly of the Beretta is really simple. Make sure the gun's unloaded. Right here on the side is a little button. Press it, take your takedown lever, and then the gun is easy to break down. I mean, how simple is that? Recoil spring guide rod. The barrel, you have to just kind of unlock it to bring it out. Here you can see the locking block system, and this is completely different than the John Browning design which tends to be one of the most popular. But this is a very stable barrel system. It will lead to accuracy. And now the gun is field stripped. Uh, to reassemble, take your slide and your barrel, recoil spring guide rod, back on the frame, and just bring the lever. You're back in business. The manufacturer suggested retail on the Beretta Compact is $750. I saw it on Bud's Gun Shop for $648. Uh, for the Enox or stainless steel version, they run $678. So, you know, it's a little bit higher than a lot of your standard striker fire pistols, polymer pistols, but yet it's really fine Beretta quality. So the Beretta 92 FS Compact, thumbs way up. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. So the Beretta 92 FS Compact, thumbs way up. So the Beretta FS, it's hot, the mosquitoes are about to take me away, but it didn't take anything away from the fun of shooting this pistol.